Yeah, it was. I thought they came in and did a good job down the stretch, uh, you know, in a, in a game that wasn't really a blowout in, in, by any respect of the word. So, um, you know, good work working against the press, against pressure. I thought they did a good job against that. So, uh, but again, I thought we fought <clears throat> the, the, the mental approach of sometimes at this part of the season uh, of not, <coughs> excuse me, going 100%. Uh, in, in or being totally focused in a game like tonight. So I thought we fought through that. I thought Serge Ibaka kind of got in and got us going a little bit. And uh, we fought through that uh, mental uh, block sometimes you get at this time of the year. Carter had that nine assists, ties a career high. In the first half, he was really effective picking up part. He was. I, you know, they were sending two bodies at him. He did a great job of finding people, uh, finding the seams in the pick and roll, skip passes uh, against the press. I thought he did an excellent job, um, especially, in, like you said, in the first. I think he had, what, seven in the first half. And so um, I thought he did a good job. And again, that's the type of game he's going to see. And if teams want to do that, that's, uh, that's a great sign for him to be able to, to execute like that. How much better is it going to be when Kyle comes back if he's used to making those passes? Well, it's gonna, you got another shooter out there. you got another three-point shooter there. Uh, and it's going to be really good to have him back, another uh, potent shooter that teams have to respect. Uh, with spacing, and it's going to give DeMar a little bit more room as far as to operate or either to kick out to, um, you know, for some some productivity on the weak side. TJ, was that something that happened last game, or what's the status of it? It was TJ. He's okay. He's going to be fine. I mean, he had an MRI, and it was okay, and his back clean and everything. He's just a little sore. I'm sorry. You want to cut minutes back, and mm -hmm. you had surgery. 28 and DeMar 31. Mm -hmm. Was that intentional as well? Well, uh, well we weren't going to cut them in, in, in respect of not winning the game. But luckily, we got in a position that we could do that. And uh, we want to make sure we do preserve them as much as we can, but not at the expense of winning the games. And again, we're on a little bit different mission right now as far as making sure we're going the right way with new people, new, new uh, players in the rotation, Cal coming back you know, next couple of weeks or whatever, whenever he does. Uh, so we have a lot of different things going on, more so than just rest. I think, you know, with the lack of practice time uh, right now, I think a lot of guys are getting plenty of rest. You to put them back in in that last six minutes? Right? Well, the way it was going. But again, I thought Fred came in and did a good job. The line did a good job of handling pressure. Um, you know, we was trying to force me to put them back in, but didn't want to. Now, in some one situation where they've been sitting over there for all that time and put them back in, you have a risk of injury. Yeah, it was. I thought it was really good. We had 20 assists. What was it? 25 assists. I want to cut ourselves short. Uh, what was it? 25, yeah. I thought the ball was moving around. Doug mentioned earlier. Um, DeMar was getting trapped. He was kicking the ball out. I thought he did an excellent job of finding the openings and finding open people. I thought everybody did. Uh, moving the basketball, they created a shot. And that's where we have to play. And uh, <clears throat> And I think the number one culprit of it is DeMar. As long as he's kicking it out, finding people, I just really feel like it's contagious. First five shots, you seem to immediately get it going. What did you like about what you saw from him? Well, I thought he, he got it going. I, you know, he's one of those guys that is a, a threat from wherever he is. He, you know, he has a he's mid-range three-point shot. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he really, I thought once he got started making shots, he got us going. And uh, that's the way, you know, when teams, again, start sending the extra body to to DeMar, somebody's open. And now we have another guy over there. When Kyle comes back, you have another shooter over there. So I think at that time, teams are going to have to pick the poison uh, how they want to guard DeMar DeRozan.